In this tutorial, we will show you how to force the software to design with a fixed PI device and a fixed transformer core. Let's start off by doing a top switch JX based design. Let's keep all the defaults that the software prompts us with. Let's keep the universal input voltage range. And let's add an output of 12 volt at 3 amps. Click OK. Let's go ahead and have a first run of this design. Let's keep all the design defaults that the software recommends. Notice that all these solutions use the EF25 core and the same top 264 EG device. Let's go ahead and open any one of these solutions. Now, I'm going to show you how you can force the software to design with a different device and a different transformer core of your choice. The only constraint here is that both the device size and the core size must be capable of processing the power that is specified. For example, in this design, you would not be able to force the software to design with a device smaller than the top 264 EG. That would be impractical. In this example, we will force the software to design with the next higher device, the top 265 EG, and an EEL25 core. First, let's manually set the device to top 265 EG. You can do this either by double clicking on the device from the schematic or by navigating to the PI device selection dialog on the left. Both open the PI device selection dialog. Now, let's go ahead and select the top 265 EG and click OK. Let's click on the optimization button on the toolbar. This looks like a target icon and will start the optimization run. To fix the transformer core, on the core range section, make sure that the starting core size and the ending core size are both set to EEL25. This will make sure that the software will iterate using one core only, and then it will present to you all viable solutions to choose from. Click OK. The software has gone through only 24 combinations, in this case, due to the two constraints that were imposed on it. All the top solutions now use the EEL25 core and the top 265 EG device that we had asked for. To view details of a particular design, select the design and click the Open button. From the schematic view, you can see that the software has now optimized the design with the core and the switching device of our choice. We hope that this tutorial was helpful to you. Please visit the Power Integrations website for more video tutorials. Thank you.